Welcome everybody to the Single and Stiletto Show. I'm Suzanne Oshima and I'm a matchmaker and dating coach at Dream Bachelor and Bachelorette and I'm also the founder of Single and Stilettos. Today we have on our show Robert Manny and he's the author of The Guy's Guy's Guide to Love and I'm so excited to have him here today because he is honestly one of my favorite guests to have on the show and today we're talking about five signs he's taking the relationship seriously. So before we jump into it, Robert, I would love for you to tell our audience a little bit about you and what made you write this book, The Guy's Guy's Guide to Love. Okay, well, thank you, Suzanne, and welcome, everybody. I'm so thrilled to be here, and uh, any way I can help out or just add a male perspective, uh, I'm happy to do so. And, uh, you know, it's just my opinion uh, based on my experience, and uh, you can take it the way you want to, but... um, I was single for a long time in New York City, and now I'm a happily married man. And I actually, my wife and I met on Match.com. She winked at me. So you never know what can happen. But uh, I was inspired to write my book, The Guy's Guy's Guide to Love. I worked in advertising for many years, and I just saw that there was a great growing chasm of communication between men and women. And I think even since I've written the book, that that chasm has gone, has been widened because now there's so much technology and with the millennials that's how people communicate people communicate differently now and i'm all about you have to get together to make a real connection you have to have a face-to-face meeting you have to really connect with people the organic way and face to face so i'm very thrilled with the response we've gotten from the book and since then i have my uh, website robert manny m-a-n-n-i.com and uh guys guys radio which is my weekly podcast. We've had over 216 podcasts, and we do it every uh, Wednesday night on Blog Talk Radio. We're also on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio. So uh, we're building a brand, and it's all about when men and women can be at their best, everyone wins. Better men, better world. We need to help the guys out. Exactly. And that's exactly why I do the show, because when we help out the ladies, it helps out relationships um, in the long run. So, Robert, tell us the first sign a man is taking the relationship seriously. Well, I think uh, the biggest sign uh, is that if a guy gets off of social media, the dating sites, basically, on his own, you can pretty much be confident that he's very interested in you. Now, it doesn't always happen that way because everybody's cushioning nowadays and uh, they're kind of hedging their bets. And it's understandable, but what what we want to be careful of, of not hedging our bets too much, where we have so many things going on, we're so overbooked that we can't really make a connection with one person because we don't give it a chance. So if you see a guy that you're interested in, you've gone out with him a few times, he takes himself off the dating types, dating sites, You know he's serious about you, and then you have to determine if you're serious about him. And if so, maybe you take yourself off the dating sites. You know, you don't have to completely sign out, but you can kind of take yourself down for a while and see how it goes. But I would think that's the number one way that you can tell if a man's really interested. Now, a lot of guys won't get off the dating site until you nudge him. What I found is, uh, and I was shamed into it basically, is some of the women I dated took themselves down from the dating sites and then they saw that I was still active and they asked me what are you doing on there and I'm like well if you're on there you must have, you must have seen me so you must be active too <laughs> but I think their intention was to really take themselves down they weren't being active really they just uh, they noticed they were checking up on me probably but the point is if I was going to give the relationship a chance and I was going to be serious with a woman particularly somebody I'd been intimate with it's really something that you really have to consider is to not, not put yourself out there to everybody else and become like male slut. You really have to, at a certain point, if you're on the dating sites, you want to date. But ultimately, most guys want to have a relationship. It's easier. Uh, it means something. And guys do have some depth and they do have a, an open heart, believe it or not. And uh, they do want to make a connection. Awesome. So, so that would be number one. Okay. So what's your second sign? Well, if you have been dating a guy for a while and he asks you to go on vacation with him. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean a week in Hawaii, but it could even be you know, a long weekend down the Jersey Shore. Uh, whatever it is, though, going away with somebody the first time adds a new layer 
of intimacy and ex exploration and discovery to a relationship. You see how the other person packs, you see how they travel, you see what the expectations are. You can really learn a lot, of, a lot about somebody when you travel with them. And for a couple, if they're going to be committed to each other and they're going to make a go of it, and they're going to be, have a chance of being successful, they need to know how to travel together. And if a guy's willing to uh, go on a trip with you, I think that's a really good thing. And if he, you invite him and he hesitates or he doesn't want to go with you, that's probably not a great sign. So I think vacationing together is a good thing and you can really learn a lot about each other. Yeah, and I think it's it's actually not just the vacation itself, but it's the actually planning ahead. Because usually when you plan a vacation ahead, you have to plan ahead at least one or two months in advance. And so that I think that shows that he's thinking about you in a longer run perspective. Right, Robert? Yeah, definitely. I mean, if he wants to take you to Vegas, maybe that's not the best place, but... <laughs> Any place else is fine. If it's something that's worth the planning, if you're going to go away for at least four days, you know, and he's instigating that, that's a really good thing. If it's a, just a weekend getaway or three-day weekend getaway, that's a good thing, too, because you'll still learn a lot about each other, and it is a bonding uh, situation. Exactly. Okay, so what's the third sign? Okay, I think uh, once the guy introduces you to his uh, buddies, his squad, so to speak, that's a really good sign also because that means he's comfortable with you and he wants you he wants his friends to meet you. And he's not the guy's not seeking the friends his friends' approval. He wants to show you off uh, in most cases. So I think that's a really good thing and it's also another uh, step in the evolution uh, and exploration and discovery of a relationship because once you get to know his friends, you're gonna know a little bit more about the guy too because usually Similar guy, guys, you know, it's it, they'll have a lot of different type of friends, but they usually will share some values. And uh, you'll, you'll meet his old friends and people he hangs out with biz, in business, and you'll get to know a little bit more about the guy by seeing the ilk that he hangs out with in his spare time. And I think that's a really good thing, too, if a guy says, hey, I want you to meet my friends tonight. That's, that's fantastic. That means you're, you're in if you're interested. I completely agree. Is when a guy says that, that means more than you think it does. Um, so what's the fourth sign? Well, building on that same theme of meeting new people, I think if a guy invites you home for a holiday, whether it be Thanksgiving or you know uh, over the you know Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever, uh, or Easter or Passover, whatever it is, if a guy invites you home for a holiday, that's a big deal because now you're meeting the family and uh, you're going to get all the eyeballs on you. And that's a big deal because, again, the guy is not necessarily looking for approval. He, he wants to show you off to his family and, uh, and his bloodlines, if you will. And that's, that's even bigger than you meeting his friends. So I think if he invites you home, you're going to learn a, another layer of things about your man and also, you can make a determination. It's like, is this a is this is a bunch of people I want to hang out with, or is he the same one and he has a crazy family, or are they all crazy, or are they all really great people? You'll learn a lot by meeting the family. That is true. And wouldn't you say, in a subcontext, that um, that if a man introduces you to his friends, coworkers, or family? that it actually means he thinks very highly of you because from my understanding is that men won't introduce you to those significant other people in his life if he doesn't feel like you're up to par, like he can trust that you can handle your own, you can you can uh, speak to, uh, ha handle your own in a conversation with any of these people and that he can trust that you're going to be um, at the stature that he wants a woman to be, that he wants to be with. You know, that's a great point, Suzanne. Uh, I remember, uh, recall dating somebody who was very pretty, very nice. We got along great, and the intimacy was fantastic. But her, she didn't speak English that well. And this is not and nothing against the, the woman by any means. But, and me, and shame on me, I just didn't feel if I brought her out with my friends, I would get too much. I, I don't know. I didn't know how they would take her. I knew her. I had a chance to get to know her, and she was great. And uh, I had a pause, and uh, that's on me. That's bad on my part. But it is a factor. To your point, it is a factor. 
where some 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 women that I've been with, I've been super comfortable. I want to get them out there right away. And other, others, one or two, I'm like, well, I'm not sure if I want to. I don't want the judgmental nonsense from my friends. Um, but, you know, that's a weakness of myself, and it's also a weakness of some guys. So if a guy won't trot you out there to meet the friends, that's a bad sign about um, the guy and also the relationship. So it's a really good thing if uh, he wants you to meet his friends. Awesome. Okay, so what's the last sign? I think uh, just the biggest one is, you know, women are great at paying attention. And uh, I always like to tell a story when I dated my now wife the first couple of times I was really having a great time I said what do I need to do to be a good boyfriend because I had so many relationships and ultimately they all petered out um, and she said pay attention and uh, I was like pay attention pay attention and uh, it was the greatest advice I've ever gotten by from a woman and uh, I think guys are not very good at paying attention to women so if you notice that the guy is starting to pay attention to the little things the way women pay attention to the little things about a guy. How's his day? What's his mood like? Oh, he re she remembers that I like this bar or I like this drink or I like this sushi place or I like whatever. You know, women do that almost instinctively. Guys are so self-absorbed for the most part that if you see a guy who's really paying attention and notices, like, how are you feeling and notices if you're in, like, a little bit off for the day and you're having a bad mood or if he comes over and sees that and he rubs your shoulders or whatever, any type of gesture to show that he cares without being prompted, that's a really good thing. Or he asks you how you feel about something because, you know, women are constantly trying to figure out how guys feel and men rarely ask a woman how they feel because they don't want to get the, you know, the, the, uh, just the barrage of feelings because a lot of times guys are uncomfortable with that. You have to be careful in terms of how you manage the feelings uh, conversations with them. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good sign, I have to admit. Um, well, these have been some great tips. So, Robert, tell our audience how they can find you and your awesome book. Okay, the name of the book is The Guy's Guy's Guide to Love. Here's a copy right here. You can find it on uh, probably the best places on the, uh, Amazon has a sale on it right now. You can get the physical book. You can get the e-book. It's in some bookstores. Uh, my website is robertmanny, M-A-N-N-I dot com, and my radio podcast, weekly podcast, is Guys, Guys Radio. You can find me on iTunes. Thanks, everybody, for joining us on the Single and Stiletto Show. Our show is available both in video format and podcast format. If you'd like to view the videos, go to singleandstilettos.com. If you'd like to get the podcast, you can download it from iTunes. If you'd like to get our free ebook on the three secrets guaranteed to attract any man based on scientific research, just click right here on the video or go to singleandstilettos.com.